congressional Republicans are hoping to get to the bottom of the scandals involving the Clinton Foundation before Democrats take back the chamber early next year. One America's John Hines has more from Washington. Allegations of wrongdoing have surrounded the Clinton Foundation for some time, but now a congressional panel has kicked off an investigation at a hearing featuring whistleblowers saying they have submitted proof to the IRS and FBI, which they claim is investigating. Based on your facts, do you believe there's probable cause of wrongdoing? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. Have you submitted these documents to the FBI? Yes. Do you believe that they have opened up an investigation on it based on your conversations with the FBI? Yes. 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 So you believe that there is an uh, uh, open criminal investigation by the FBI on the Clinton Foundation out of what field office? Little Rock, Little Rock Arkansas. Arkansas. So you believe out of Little Rock, Arkansas, there's an open criminal investigation into the Clinton Foundation going based on information that you've submitted to the FBI? The agent informed me as to how very, very, very grateful he was for our documents and the case fashion in which we presented it. So say two witnesses, Lawrence Dow and John Moynihan, who are independent forensic investigators in an exchange with North Carolina Congressman Mark Meadows, chairman of the House Oversight and Government Reform Subcommittee on Government Operations. And a current FBI investigation may also explain why U.S. Attorney John Huber, who was appointed to look into the foundation, has been keeping a low profile and was a no-show at this hearing. We uh, initially allowed Mr. Huber to uh, act as a de facto special prosecutor to oversee some of these issues, and he's largely been silent on it. And so uh, I thought it was uh, fitting for us, uh, while we still had the majority, uh, to hopefully close this out and make sure that we not only hold those accountable that need to be held accountable um, and bring them to a point of, of understanding what the truth is, but also try to report on what Mr. Huber has or has not done. Huber or not, committee witness Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton thinks this first congressional oversight hearing into the Clinton Foundation comes awfully late in the process. The scandal's been around for years now, and I'm not aware of any prior hearings on this specific issue. So we're pleased that Congress, at least the House of Representatives, is finally taking a look at it. But we're pleased Congressman Meadows has taken the lead in getting this done. Why has it taken so long? You want to apply, Can you opine on that? I think Republican leadership was interested in doing scandal investigations and holding Hillary Clinton accountable. Everything that was done, they were pushed to by members like Congressman Jordan and Mark Meadows, who will be at the hearing. The whistleblower witnesses who claim the FBI is investigating refused to share the documents they gave to the FBI with the committee, leaving some lawmakers dubious of their claim. John Hines, One American News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.